Hello everyone. Um, today I'm working on a little choke problem. It's a pretty common problem with uh, this is a 460 with a Holley uh, carburetor and probably like a 600 CFM or so on it. Problem I'm having, uh, this engine's already warmed up. The problem is the choke, she won't open up. Uh, pretty common problem on these. It could uh, actually it could stick in a variety of places. It could be stuck closed. Sometimes they'll be stuck open. Anyway, there's all kinds of uh, could seize anywhere. It just depends on where the engine was sitting uh, last time it was run. Now this engine has been run. This engine was probably sat for 10 years, and I fixed this problem once, but I'm gonna have to fix it again, I guess. So the problem is that. Once she's running, that choke that choke stays closed, and it just floods the engine out. I guess you can't really tell much from that, but um, I had her for a run last weekend, and it was just. Uh, rolling the black smoke out like crazy. So anyway, here's a uh, here's the deal on these. Um, back up a little bit there. And here's your choke. And what there is in here, there's a little brass counterweight. And it just uses a counterweight and that's what it actually uses to hold that choke open. So what happens is the counterweight sometimes seizes in the, there's a little bore in there it sits in. It sometimes it seizes in there and uh, and that's what causes the problem. Like I say, it could be seized open or closed or whatever, who knows. Anyway, I'm going to pop her apart here and uh, see if we can get her fixed. Find a spot to put the camera. All there is to taking the choke off, there's just um, three screws, one there, one there, one there. There, I can see them. Three screws are either flathead or they could be a uh, Phillips, just depends on the car later. spot where you can see what's going on a little bit. There. So first I'm going to just disconnect this, uh, the electrical connection here. Pull the screws out. Careful not to drop these on the manifold. This thing is pretty hot so I don't want to drop anything on it. Or my fenders. Now a lot of guys will do, the choke's not working right, they'll just turn this and try to make it open or close, but that's really not going to fix your problem in this case. Unscrew. Now, when you take this off, this little uh, retainer has to go on the right way or it's not going to work right for you. And there's your little spring. When that gets hot, it pulls the choke off. Now, this little plate, this little uh, gasket, it has to go on the right way also. If it doesn't, you can flip it over upside down, put it in the wrong way, and then your choke won't, uh, won't open or close all the way. So in here, you'll see what I'm talking about. Mm 
right down in here, there's a little brass counterweight. Oh. Actually, mine wasn't wasn't seized that bad. Um, it's just kind of sticky, I guess. So what you can do with that is um, what I did with this one before last time. I just had to take a hammer, took a screwdriver, and just tapped it until it broke loose, and then then it was just wiggling it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until she got uh, until she got loose again. Now it was it must have just been a little bit sticky there. Now she's all right. Didn't take very much at all. So anyway, now we get that done. Really, that went a lot quicker than I thought. Put this gasket back on the way it's supposed to be. There's uh, actually uh, grooves inside of it there, so it'll only go. I don't know if you've seen that or not. The grooves in the side of it there only go in one way. Get those lined up. Slap that on. Now, the next thing that's really difficult is this. Oops, just on my camera. On your choke. Spring there. This uh, spring actually has to go in between. There's a groove right here. She actually has to sit in, or else it won't work, won't work right. So getting that lined up can be a little bit tricky. Our little retainer back on, same way it came off. And put our screws back in. It's probably easiest to get one, uh, one snugged up pretty good, just hold it in place and then put the other three in. This one's really tough because I got this little plate on there. I got her. And that is that. On here. Now, as you can see what I did, I usually just put them right back. There's a little uh, pointer in here. There's a little pointer in there. I just, I usually just line it up in the middle. Um, can I adjust that back and forth a little bit just to? Uh, just for a fine adjustment. Anyway, that's her. I'm going to uh, start her up here and let her warm up again and see if that uh, 
chuck comes back off. So, unfortunately, it wasn't that easy of a fix for me. Started the car up again and choke still wasn't coming off. So I ended up taking this little uh, cap off the end of her. And so what we got in there is a spring. You have wire that comes from here out there that goes to here. And then it goes to ground here. And what it does, that heats that spring up. And as it heats up, it um, expands and that's what closes, opens your choke up. So I popped that one off. I've got a few spare ones here because I had some old carburetors kicking around. And unfortunately, she's no good. So if you got a uh, voltmeter, all you do is put it on ohms. You can see that around here with its own ohms. And just put your leads one on each one on each side here. And when I do that, I get nothing. So that one's screwed. I had this one apart before. I think I fixed it once already, but. Here I had another one. This is off uh, carburetor the same. And I checked it. It was no good. You can get these on eBay. I don't think they're that expensive if you need one. Anyway. And nothing. This is one I have. I don't even know what kind of carburetor this came off of. It's slightly different. But I think she'll work for... It's just for a Derby car anyway. She should work. And when I test that one, got a good spot here. And that one is showing 7.6 ohms. So that one should work. Um, this one's slightly different than the ones I had. I think it's, I don't know if this is an aftermarket one or what, but anyway, it has a little bit of different spring, but I just had to gotta get that lined up and uh, we'll give her a shot, see how that works for us. Anyway, that's the other the other choke uh, problem you can have. It's fairly common. Okay, so I got my new uh, new cap on the choke there. Put her on. This thing's only been running for maybe a minute, and as you can see, popped her wide open almost right away. So that's it for that problem. I'll go on eBay maybe and order a couple of these puppies up just so I have some spares. They can give this old girl a run at the side by side at the end of the month and uh, hopefully she works better than she did last time. You can see now she. Oh. She's staying open when she's hot, which it should be. Hopefully it still starts, right? I'm gonna have to fine tune that a little bit. Oh yeah, she's way better. All right. Hopefully that helps you out if you're having some uh, choke problems with your Ford carburetor, your uh, Holly four barrel. And good luck. See you later.